Hey there guys, so I'm going to try doing a quick video about something I found a little useful in my layout. This is a, uh, as you can see, really cheap and easy to make uh, railway cleaning car. Uh, it was really done with a leftover piece of spare wood. Uh, a couple of bogies that were uh, donated from another car. And a piece of hardboard, which we'll just ride on the track. And as you can see, it actually does a pretty good, decent job of picking up some... Uh, some dirt off the track. So in order to go through and try and uh, make another one of these, seeing as my old one is uh, still getting used, but there's a lot of dirt on the track, uh, these are the parts that I have. So I have a donor car, which I'm going to get the uh, bogies from. The big thing to look for with these is that they do have a screw holding them in, uh, rather than a lot of the ones that are clips, which will be more difficult to work with later. So yeah, uh, this was five bucks at my local train store, just a leftover old kind of cheap car. Two nails. These guys here are going to be used, something with as big a head as possible is good. We're going to use them to attach the cleaner plate to. Two bolts. Those are going to be sitting there and essentially, it's really not uh, easy to see, but the bolt is just right in here. It's a spacer to give something for the wheels to sit on. A pair of washers. Those actually... Uh, you can just see it around the edge here. So that is sitting on top of the, uh, sorry, the nut uh, that you can use to hold the wheels apart. A pair of screws. They're going to go right through the middle here to hold it onto this piece. And uh, I was going through and I can only find hardboard, uh, which is what this piece is, in really, really large sheets. So I'm actually going to try to make the whole thing out of a uh, free uh, paint stir stick. So we will see how this all goes. Uh, the one thing I think I will need to do is just based on the weight of this, um, I might be adding something to it, and that might just be something heavy glued onto it to give it a little more weight so it sits on the track. Uh, I know even these ones, uh, this was an old piece of wood that I had left over. It's significantly thicker, as you can see, um, and heavier. Um, so, and this one uh, still does have the occasional problem to. Uh, skip off the track. So I will may need to add some extra weight to this. We'll see how it goes. But that should be all the pieces you need. And uh, yeah, let's give this a go. All right, so what I got here is I've measured everything out. I have an inch and a half on the, uh, the end of the paint stick here. Uh, that is going to be my cleaning pad. And then I've got two dots on it, one inch apart. That's where the, man, the, screw, the nails are going to go to uh, allow travel. This piece is going to be the main body of the car. I have made it significantly shorter, as you can see, than the previous one. Uh, this one does have some issues with um, the cleaning pad getting off-center as it goes around corners, so I figured to make that easier. Uh, I'm going to try and make this one a little bit shorter. So I've measured in, uh, I believe this one was half an inch from the edge, uh, so that this will be the screw that mounts my, uh, my bogey. It comes in about... Uh, three quarters of an inch, the bogey will. Uh, I've left a half an inch clearance, and then this line here is the start of my cleaning pad and the end of my cleaning pad. These two X's are going to be where I drill the holes for the nails to come through. There's the end of my pad, there's my gap again, three quarters of an inch. Here is my other hole for the bogey, and then this line is going to be the end of the, uh, the car once it's done. So let's try and cut that up and see if I can do it without. Uh, destroying the stick. Well, that all worked out reasonably painlessly. Uh, I was a little concerned these in a big saw might just fly apart, but they cut fairly cleanly, which was nice. And then I cut the holes in these. So these guys are about quarter inch holes, which are more than big enough for the nails to fit through and slide with a fair bit of ease. And then these little guys here for the bogies, they're much smaller, I think. They were what? They were 330 seconds. So these are really, really fairly small holes. So those are cut and now should be reasonably ready to start trying to assemble stuff. All right, let's have a quick go at this. I'm just going to dab a little bit of super glue on one end here and then attach one of the nice big nails to it. I'm just going to leave that for a minute and let it sit while we work on other stuff. So we'll just move that out of the way while it keeps drying. While that's going, we're going to try one of these wheels. So, donor wheel set. We're going to put a screw through the bottom of it. We're going to put 
washer right down there, so it's got something nice and flat to ride on. Our spacer. And then I'm going to try and attach all of that through this little hole, which we've pre-drilled. And just snug all this up. Terribly tight, a little bit of space playing the bogey is not a bad thing. But there we go, there's one wheel set on. So the end of the coach. There we go. I hope you don't mind too much, but I uh, didn't show you showing the second wheel set, but there we go, two wheel sets on. So the only thing I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna place this guy on here just so we get an idea of where this guy is going to uh, sit when it's traveling before I glue this second screw on. Uh, so I want those to be able to sit quite nicely through the holes. Um, so yeah, let's just get that done. So I'm just going to take this guy back off, put a fair amount of glue around here because I'm not quite sure where this nail is going to sit yet. We can't super glue because nobody wants that everywhere. And then I'm going to place this guy back down so I know where it's going to go. Square you up and try and get you centered on there. So we'll just hold that for a second. You know, it looks like I maybe should have made that piece a little bit longer than an inch and a half, but uh, it's, it will work. So we'll just hold that and let it dry for a second, and then we'll leave that to dry. Now the other thing I will add quickly too that I didn't mention before. So normally when I do this, as you can see, the ends of this are tapered, uh, just so that as you're going around, if you hit something like the uh, the frog or the guardrails on a point, or you uh, are going over. Uh, track joiners that aren't exactly square, that little bevel just helps things to, uh, to not some to come to a sudden stop. Uh, so I'm just going to get some sandpaper as well and clean off the edges on this new one so that it has the same thing, and we'll see how it goes. There we go. So I've given that a minute or two to dry. Hopefully that'll work. Come on, you pop out. There we go. And I'm using some pretty Coarse sandpaper. I'm just going to toss this down, rub it on a bit of an angle. That should give me my grade pretty quickly. sides are now sanded so we have a tape on both sides so it shouldn't get caught on points so that should be about it so we now have a new car ready to run uh, it's got some clearance both ways so it looks like it should be good to go obviously there's not a whole lot of weight on this thing uh, and just as something to do to make sure that things work reasonably well for weight uh, what I have done with a lot of the other ones that I've made is I will just grab a bunch of spare bolts and just sit them on top uh, as a little bit of extra running weight while it's going. Doesn't really hurt anything, and just that little bit of extra weight sometimes does heat, help keep it down on the track. So let's take it downstairs, see how it runs. All right, there we go. There is both the car, uh, the original, and the new one on the layout, and we'll give it a run. I will also mention, as we said before, that this is being done predominantly because the layout is new, but all of the track is really, really old. So do not be surprised if there's a fair bit of jerkiness. Uh, that's why we need the track mini car. Seems to be working. I'll let it run for a bit and then I will show you what it looks like uh, after a couple of runs and see if it's picked up any dirt. Talk to you guys soon. Alright, so I've done only two laps and as you can see it has already picked up a fair bit of dirt off this track. So you can see the two stripes here where it's been hitting the rails. So yeah, uh, looks like it's working as it's supposed to. It doesn't look like it's focused. Uh, but yeah, so two laps already getting dirt. So we'll 
set it up again, let it keep going. Thanks for watching, and uh, talk to you later. Happy modeling.